Activision finally revealed the details of Call of Duty Vanguard's upcoming integration into Warzone. Let's break down the details and dates for these upcoming events, including post-launch content and when you can play the new Warzone map. For more updates about Warzone, Vanguard, and more, remember to subscribe to GameSpot. Season 1 starts on December 2nd, bringing a new Warzone Pacific map called Caldera that will introduce new modes, including aerial dogfighting. Prior to the start of Warzone Pacific, players will also get limited time modes in Verdansk to say goodbye to the map, as well as learn information about Caldera before the integration. Before Season 1, Warzone's Verdansk map will also get two final events. First, Operation Flashback is described as an encore for Verdansk, which begins on November 18th. This is a limited time mode that is said to feature plenty of surprises that cover Verdansk's history over the last 18 months. Operation Flashback will reward two unique items, an emblem for participating in the event, and an animated calling card for those who claim victory. This goodbye for Verdansk is very vague, but Activision says more information on Operation Flashback will be revealed prior to its launch on November 18th. Starting on November 24th, players will be able to collect intel to uncover more about the Caldera map through another limited time event called Secrets of the Pacific. This event is developed by Beanox and will give players intel on Caldera and its various points of interest prior to its launch in December, but only by completing challenges across Vanguard and Warzone. This sounds much like past seasonal events in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone, as each game will have its own set of tasks and rewards for completing them. More details on this event are coming mid-November, however, it does tease that Verdansk might get blown up again. Finally, Caldera will arrive on December 2nd with the launch of Season 1. Call of Duty Warzone is a free-to-play game, but Vanguard players will get 24 hours of exclusive access to the new Caldera map at the start of Season 1. During this exclusive access, Warzone's smaller Rebirth Island map will remain unlocked for everyone else to play. Additionally, Activision said that Caldera's only true comparison to Verdansk is its scale. The island is described as featuring lush forests and rocky crags, as well as the white sand beaches and mysterious ruins. There is also a dormant volcano that towers over the map, which Activision boasts as having 200 plus points of interest. Activision also says that the Caldera design is based on two years of research and listening to the community. Warzone Pacific will introduce a dogfighting mode. Vanguard Royale is a new mode that will allow players to take on the skies and maneuver AA guns to combat aerial attacks. Later in Season 1, players can expect a return of Verdansk's Plunder mode, which has players fighting to earn the most cash for a win. Players can also use all of their Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War weapons for both Rebirth Island and Standard modes on Caldera. Only certain playlists, like the new dogfighting mode, will limit the weapon pool to Vanguard's weapons only. Warzone Pacific will also bring the arrival of the recently revealed Ricochet Anti-Cheat to hopefully cut back on Warzone's ongoing cheating problem. And being built on the same tech and engine as Call of Duty Vanguard, Warzone Pacific will support fully optimized cross-play, cross-progression, and cross-gen support. Outside of this massive upcoming Warzone integration, Vanguard is also shaping up for a big first season. At launch, during preseason, Vanguard will offer 20 multiplayer maps, four of them being dedicated gunfight maps, and 16 for 6v6 and higher. Confirmed modes include Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Search and Destroy, Hardpoint, Champion Hill, and Patrol, Vanguard's new mode where players control a moving hardpoint. Two more upcoming modes were also announced but not revealed. Activision says these two modes are expected sometime shortly after launch. Twelve operators have also been confirmed for launch. The group dubbed Task Force 1 will offer your standard fare of customization options, including battle quips and skins. New to Vanguard are infiltration poses, which come before a match. The Gunsmith returns, and with more than 30 weapons at launch, players will have several options for weapon customization. This includes over 200 attachments across all classes, 10 slots per weapon, and a choice of 40 unique weapon perks to choose from. Vanguard says this overhauled Gunsmith system will make for incredibly deep possibilities with your loadout. And lastly for preseason, the fan favorite map Shipment comes to Vanguard on November 17th. As we move into Season 1 on December 2nd, we see even more content drops for Vanguard. Confirmed are two new operators, three multiplayer maps, updates to Zombies Mode, 
and of course, over 100 tiers of Battle Pass items, ranging from emblems and charms to unlockable weapons and blueprints. With lots of Call of Duty coming our way very soon, subscribe to GameSpot for our upcoming review of Vanguard, live streams, gameplay, and more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.